From the cool blue waters of the Mediterranean to the scorching deserts of the Middle East, America's rising stars travel to the far corners of the world to deliver their own brand of heat to America's brightest hopes for peace. Here they entertain members of our armed forces, many in harm's way, who courageously devote their lives to preserving democracy. For our troops, who are separated from those they love thousands of miles from home, these performances provide a remedy for the homesick blues, even if it's only for one night. For over 50 years, Armed Forces Entertainment has been bringing America's best entertainment to our troops. Booking and managing over 150 tours a year, each one is a mission of great pride. Every performance, a story of enduring inspiration. These are some of those stories. This captain in the Marines approached me and said, hi, my name is Jesse. I work for the military. I'm, I'm with a group called AFE. It's an armed forces entertainment. Would you be interested in uh, traveling the world and playing for the troops and going to play American bases and whatnot? And I was like, yeah. And, and this tour, uh, we're starting out in Germany. We're playing uh, five dates there. Then we're playing two in Belgium. And then we're playing one in England. That's our job, you know. Uh, we were supposed to bring a touch of what they've come from back to them so that they feel a little more at home. And that's all we want to do. That's We want to just make them feel a little more at ease and just kind of blow off some steam. Any band wanting to go out on tour for us has to be evaluated first by the people um, in the office. What we do is they, we have them apply, have an actual application process now, um, which is very similar to applying to a festival or some other similar type venue. We're looking for bands that sound good. Beyond that, we're looking for groups that have uh, the tour a lot regionally, um, have been together for a while, they're a stable band, and can actually go out and tour overseas successfully. The biggest thing beyond just how they sound also is how they interact with the crowd. Groups that show us that they can excite a crowd, they can be very personable with the crowd, are the best kind to send out. A lot of the typical comments we get are uh, just thanks so much for doing what you're doing, thanks for coming over here and bringing the music to us. Without All Force Entertainment, we won't have nothing. We rely on y'all guys to bring the entertainment to us. We thank y'all. You guys ready for a little bit of a jam session? For Atlanta rockers and recording artists Five Star Iris, their 24-day Summer in the Sandbox tour had them doing concerts at 10 different bases in six countries. Oh, and one floating city, the USS Bonham Richard, an amphibious assault ship. This tour gave Five Star Iris an unprecedented opportunity to get up close and personal with our troops. Anyone know how you get 150 old ladies to use the F word? Get one old lady to yell bingo. I'll be here all week, don't miss the buffet. In return, the band received a zealous response from the troops for their all-ahead full brand of rock and roll, which even included a valuable assist on tambourine from a decorated two-star general. Meanwhile, Soul Function would perform seven concerts in 14 days, perhaps the most intriguing and by far the most isolated in Abu Hamad, Egypt. Early mornings, late nights, setting up, breaking down, customs agents, different customs, an AFE tour is hard work, made totally worthwhile by the warm reception they received from all their audiences. We look forward to all these people coming out here all the time because it, it gives us something to do, breaks up our uh, routine. Uh, a lot of people say that it's Groundhog Day here. Every day is the same. Despite the hard work, no tour would be complete without getting out and experiencing some of the local culture. But, but look at this, it's like something out of a National Geographic movie. Magazine. Our 
our young uh, soldiers and sailors and airmen who are just coming into the armed forces, the uh, different branches who are uh, find themselves in a sandy place or a, or a far away place at least, that they uh, especially appreciate having a sense of home coming to them. The groups that came through, the entertainment that came through, the troops really look forward to it. The AFE tour is one of the best times I've ever had in my life, something I won't forget as long as I live. I'd love to do it again, do it again in a heartbeat. Having our force entertainment here for our 4th of July celebration has really made a difference. You get to travel the world and play music. That's every musician's dream. It's a little slice of home. To be able to come to events like this, it, it, uh, it brings them back to the United States. It pulls us together as a team. The crowd response was amazing. Everyone had such a good time. Everyone was so into it. Oh, I want to do this every day. It's just huge. You know, you can't put a price tag on it. Thank you very much. We're here because we're assigned. We love what we're doing. We're saving lives in Iraq and Afghanistan. And if you would, when you go up there, let the folks know what we're doing here for them. Thank you for traveling. I know your families miss you, your kids miss you. But listen, what you're doing is very important for us, and we all thank you. Big hand for five survivors. Armed Forces Entertainment, where stars earn their stripes.